In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Shuffle Question Order option on a Google Form that also includes questions for videos that you've added to the form and images that you've added to the form. The Shuffle Question Order option is nice if you are giving this as a quiz to your students. If you turn the Shuffle Question Order option on, then the questions will be shuffled for each student. So this should help alleviate students trying to look off of somebody else's screen to see the question and the answer that they are picking uh, because the students should be presented questions in a different order. Let me show you what I mean. I have a form here that has starts off with two multiple choice questions and then it has a grid question and then below that I have an image with a question for the image and a video with a question for the video. So if I go back and refresh this page, we should see that the questions have shuffled their order. These first three questions should shuffle their order each time I refresh the page. And there you can see those two questions just switched. If I refresh the page again, now we have a multiple choice, we have the grid question, and we have the um, another multiple choice question. But what you will see down at the, at the below is that the question with the image and the video have stayed in the same order and that's because I used sections to section off these areas um, because I want to keep the question with the image with the image that it goes with and the question for the video with the video that it goes with. So let's see how this works. I've already gone ahead and started a new Google form and I have added some questions here, just some multiple choice questions. And the next question I'm gonna add is a video and then I want a question to go after the video. So before I add the video, I need to add a section. And you'll notice on the form that I have already completed, um, this is the section header right here before the image or before the video. So the where it says untitled section, I want to go ahead and give them some directions for what's coming up. So in this example, I'm going to add um, use the video below to answer the next question. So once I have my directions in the section header, I am then ready to add my video. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Video. And there's two ways that you can do this. If you know the URL or the address of the video, if you've already located it, you can actually just copy and paste that um, YouTube link here. If you're not sure what you want to use, you can actually do a video search here. So you can type in your search terms and it will search YouTube to find videos related to those terms. So it has located videos that deal with my search terms. I can actually watch the video here, or if I know this is the video I want, I can simply select it and then click select. It will then add it to my form. Notice it also gives me a place for a title for the video. Since I've already put the directions here in the section header, I'm going to leave that blank. Now I'm ready to add my question that goes along with this video. So I'm going to click the plus sign to add a question. And I can change the question type. I can enter in the question and the answer choices. I have added in the question that goes with my video. Now I need to check and make sure that my question, my question order will be shuffled. And to do that, I'm going to access the settings and I'm going to check underneath presentation options. Here is where you turn on shuffle question order. That needs to be selected in order for the questions to shuffle. Go ahead and click save there. Let's take a look and see what this form looks like to the viewers. So when I preview the form, we'll notice that we have three questions and then we have next and then we have our video and our question that goes with our video. If I refresh this page, we should see that the questions here are shuffling. If I refresh again, we should should see that the questions are shuffling their order each time we refresh the page. When I click Next, the question and the video are staying together because I've put them on a separate section. Now notice that this doesn't always work exactly perfectly. Sometimes you'll have the video in front of the question and sometimes the question will be in front of the video as is the case here. But that is how you would use the Shuffle Question Order option and keep questions that have to do with videos or pictures together.